Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naveen from UI Brains Technologies and uh, the last video of React JS. So we have discussed about the Prime React crash course, right? So in Prime React, like what is Prime React? It is a UI library which supports for React JS components, which contains a lot of predefined uh, components like alerts, forms, uh, cards, carousel, and all this. Okay. So same category. Uh, we have another one that is called React Bootstrap. Okay, so what is this React Bootstrap is? So let me go to uh, Google. Let's type for React uh, Bootstrap. Yep, this is the official website. Yes. So React Bootstrap is also a front-end library for React JS based applications. So generally we know the Bootstrap, right? So Bootstrap uh, is a general uh, UI library and uh, which can be used for any static web pages or uh, dynamic web pages like react angular and vue.js but especially what is this react bootstrap is it is a rebuilt for react okay so this particular framework or library i mean they, they have given as a framework right yeah so this particular framework has given and which is rebuilt just for react okay so all the components of bootstrap has been rebuilt in uh, for to supports for the react JS. okay for example uh, generally uh, how you write the alert statements in bootstrap so you write alert statements in bootstrap by using this div tag with a class called alert alert success and all and how you give the card how you define a card in bootstrap you will specify a division with a class called card card body like full of classes right so mostly you see all division tags and in that full of the classes like card class uh, carousel spinner everything badges buttons everything is a class okay so class they have provided a styles in this react bootstrap what they have done is of course some classes are still there of bootstrap but most of the components has given as a react components for example when you go to the components of this react bootstrap uh, when you talk about the alerts so if you see the alerts here, you know how alerts as given is, see here, alert tag, it's not actually tag, it is a react component, okay, given, it's a rebuilt for react JS. okay, so alert, alert dot heading, okay, and uh, if you want to have something, see alert, again alert heading, okay, some functionality and alert dismissible you can also find alert alert dot heading and uh, uh, something this is uh, dismissible yeah we have dismissible variable okay so like that accordion see accordion is a component and when you see the badge badge is a component badge capital b okay and even when you take about the buttons see button tag button button component so i i guess you understand now the point right so it is completely rebuilt for react the same bootstrap components only rebuilt for react JS. so now let's start working on this framework okay so how to configure for your react JS application and we also make uh, some interesting examples by using this react bootstrap now okay so uh, to get the 100 percent of this uh, video so please do watch the entire video and please do like and share my uh, youtube channel so that it will be like motivation for me to you know announce this new upcoming videos like this okay so thank you so much so let's start now how to create a react js project and how to configure a react bootstrap all right so now i have to create a project for uh, react js so where do i create is i go inside h and uh, ui brains temp folder so here i have to create so what i do is i'll copy the path and let's open a command prompt i say cd space space it's a h drive h colon okay now in this yeah how you create a project how you create a project npx create react app and what is your project name so my project name is react bootstrap crash codes okay so react bootstrap crash codes not uppercase crash codes okay 
so that is my mm, one second huh? react bootstrap crash course okay that's fine so this is gonna be the my project name so let me just press enter so that it will download and install npx and as well as it creates a project for me so that come on it's not even started oh it's a problem uh okay i made a mistake name no longer contains capital letters i'm sorry so you just have to start with react uh, Okay, these things also. Let's make bootstrap lowercase clash quotes quotes. Okay, all lowercase just hyphen enter. I think now this time it's supposed to you know run it. Yes, it's creating. Okay, let's wait for a few minutes so that it will create a React.js project and then we will uh, configure it. Okay, all right. So for me, the project has created that is. Uh, our react.js okay bootstrap not brash course okay that's fine so let me load this to my editor so where is that created is in temp folder so let me just go ahead for here i'll just copy the path back here i'll say file open and paste okay and trust okay okay so it's been loading and the first of all um, okay let me also you know run the server and then uh, we'll talk about uh, this react bootstrap configuration okay so I think it is still indexing I think it's all done yep so let me start once npm start So how it starts? Okay, so it's been started up and running. That looks good. And uh, here, now first of all, uh, let me clear the things from this uh, front end. So I go to app.js. I don't need to have this editor. I mean the header. I don't need the logo and let's make a proper react component so import uh, import react from react okay and uh, I'll just make like normal functional component to to arrow function okay I'll say this empty and here also empty let's say h2 something called app component okay that's fine and uh, in app dot uh, CSS I don't need any of these styles okay um, yeah that's fine and index dot CSS it was using some font family that's fine that's okay no problem okay now uh, I have to install a react bootstrap so how will you start with this is just click on get started yeah here they'll explain you a command npm install react bootstrap as well as the bootstrap okay so these two you have to install together so let's copy the path i will go to a terminal i will uh, let's stop it okay stop the server and paste the command enter so this will install a react bootstrap as well as the bootstrap 5.1.3 for us you have to wait for it yeah it is successfully successfully installed after that you have to configure to the application how you configure to application is uh, button they have configured okay so you have to configure this javascript file right from react bootstrap min.js is required and also bootstrap.css is required okay so this two I have to add okay so where you write the configuration is you have to go to inside index.js yeah here I'll make a slash star let's say react bootstrap configuration 
react bootstrap configuration so what i do is uh, let's say import uh, something dollar slash because i am in <coughs> index.js but i have to go inside of node modules okay so node underscore module slash uh, react uh, bootstrap slash dist folder slash react bootstrap dot js or min dot js you can choose any one that doesn't matter so i can choose this bootstrap dot js and also you need to configure the css bootstrap dot css so let's say import dot slash node modules node module slash bootstrap slash dist css bootstrap dot css okay that's all okay uh, you can use bootstrap icons or fontos icons that that's your wish okay that's fine and uh, yeah let's me start the application first npm start okay let's wait for the application to start now okay so i have restarted the application mm. okay so app component and the font also has changed okay that's fine now uh, and also please check your terminal there is no error it's happily running all green okay but how will you test how will you confirm that it is configured the react bootstrap it's quite simple just go with any component i go with the components let's take the button okay yep so the, here it was button variant is primary so you know uh, in 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 regular bootstrap we use button uh, i mean just button tag with classes right here yeah, variant okay it's a property so can i copy as it is because we will discuss one after the other each component but as of now i'll just copy them and here i will uh, paste it all the buttons but only one problem is button is not sure what is this button from where it's supposed to come see import the button from import button from react bootstrap okay then everything is happy you must have to write this statement okay now that's fine go back here and check wow you got all the buttons so now you have successfully confirm i mean configured react js with a react bootstrap library okay that's one thing and uh, uh, if you want to have anything like uh, for example if you want to have alerts you simply you know um, you can take up this alert and you can add below the space it here and but only one problem alert should be imported so can i say here button and alert okay now it's happy i guess but uh, you are looking for the variant and index where is the variant and index map receives right okay instead of doing this entire story you can simply say alert directly okay there is no key nothing i just say i just say variant variant is something called success okay so you get the nice alert okay that way and if you want to give some classes yes of course classes are there for bootstrap margin top and all is there already you can uh, use them so that you get some spaces also and like that and if you want to have an accordion like this type of accordion if you want to so this is the source code of accordion you can just copy this entire accordion tag you can just simply paste it and one thing what you have to do is this accordion should import from react bootstrap and that's all accordion should import from react bootstrap so that you get all the accordions it's happily working that's perfect okay if you want to have some this type of badges you just need to have badge tag i showcase copy that and simply below this accordion you just paste it and the badge you need to import from react bootstrap that's all okay so you get a badges that's fine 
So this way you can actually uh, you know cross verify is that successfully configured or not. Now it's time to make our own examples and try to more elaborate uh, the React Bootstrap. Okay, so let's start creating our own examples. Like right? okay, let's see. All right. So now I have uh, where we are. Okay, this part. So now let me clear all the things and now freshly starts with uh, examples. Okay. So what my plan is back here i will delete this entire story of h2 and all this stuff actually not required and i don't need the import statement it's just quite empty okay so my plan is first i have to create something called a nav bar here so how you make a nav bar in react bootstrap is you can go with the components and search for a nav bar so there is a nav bar yep this is overview and this is how nav bar looks like okay so to make a navbar, there is a tag called navbar tag. Okay, let me write here. Navbar tag. Okay, if I just write a navbar, nothing has come because you have to add something extra. BG stands for the background and expand you have. So let's say BG. BG is dark and expand is uh, SM. And also variant is dark okay so you get a dark color navbar in that if you want to write some uh, you know company name or brand image like that there is a container generally we write a division with a class container but we have a component called container so let me write a container okay so in the container I need to have a brand the website brand name so you have navbar dot brand. So can I say now navbar dot brand. So if I say something called react bootstrap. See so I get react bootstrap as a brand name. Okay. And if you wish to have some uh, href. Yes of course you can write it. So href something like as of now just empty slash okay so you have a you have a navbar ready and for this navbar if you want to give some colors like if you want to have success navbar or warning color navbar you just need to change the background if i say something called success you get the green color background if i say something called warning just bootstrap classes okay this one but uh, one problem is for warning the color is in white but i want to have a black you can just say variant is light so that will become like this okay yeah i just make it as dark now i just say this is dark so dark okay that's fine okay so we have now configured a react bootstrap navbar that's fine now i have to make an example for you as a simple counter generally we just start with the counter right so how to make a counter example in react bootstrap so what i do is i go to src i create new directory called uh, components in this i create new javascript something called counter dot jsx okay let's start it like it yep so let's say import react from react okay so let's counter is equal to a function and uh, in that return something so i just make it like this let's say export default counter okay perfect now in this i'll just say counter and this counter i have to display on my app so i can configure it in this here counter okay so you need to import counter from the components folder slash compo counter and you just configure the counter so that you get the uh, what man uh, it's not actually visible maybe oh I have written inside a inside a navbar not inside a navbar under the navbar okay under the navbar yes I have a counter that's fine now for this counter 
I just need to have something called a grid system and the card. So how you make a grid system, especially in React Bootstrap? We, we know the grid system in general Bootstrap, right? So React Bootstrap grid system is you can actually search for a grid. If I say grid, there is a layout. Okay, there is something, you know, layout section, grid system. Yeah, in this you have container, row, column. Same like your classes, right? Container, row and column, you have a components now. So container, fluid container is just fluid. Okay, and row and columns. And uh, so for example, uh, if you want to have two columns, just say call and call two times. So you get the exactly half and half columns. If you want to three, you can make three. Okay, these are like auto layout column. But if you want to specify something specially for, uh, you know, uh, medium size, how many columns, uh, you know, uh, large scale, how many columns, so that type of things. So you can make here, this one, excess. For small screen, okay, how much is the number? Okay, like that. Medium screen, how much is the number? Excess, MD, XL, like that. LG, okay. So I'll tell you now. So first of all, I want to have a card with some just uh, three or four columns layout. So what you do is, first you say container. So this container imports from React Bootstrap and container. So under the container, I need to have one row. So row is a component again from the React Bootstrap. Under that, you have a column. Column also from the React Bootstrap under the column under the column if i say something called a paragraph okay just for time being 30 tab so what happens you have a paragraph so i have specified this column so what happened is you got this column as occupy the entire space inside the container and that too you see it is a container that's why it is left and write some spaces left out okay if i say something called fluid so it occupies it spread across okay no i don't need that i just need only container it is set here because even now bar we made a container that's why it's kept here okay so for column i have written paragraph it is like single column it occupies the whole you know space i want just four column layout what do you do i say excess for small screen four okay see it is now four column layout if I say something called six, half of your screen. Okay, that way. If I say something called just two, only two columns. Okay, one, this one column. That is quite weird, right? Okay, so four columns. Okay, so grid system is ready. And you want to have some space above. Of course, you have a classes from regular bootstrap. That is margin top three. Okay, that's fine now inside i need to have not text i need to have a card so let me remove this paragraph okay we need to have a card how do you make a card just search here card okay cards yes this is a simple you know card structure you have a card header card title card body but uh, how will you make this is see you have a card component and card dot image card dot body card dot title card dot text like this okay I'll make it now so let's say capital you know all capital letters card okay so you I think you get a card yes and this card I say some header you want no let's say card dot body capital body you got a card body uh, you want to have some shadow you have a class as shadow LG okay this way now for the card I want to have something called counter so I will say some paragraph with a class called uh, some H or display yes we have display classes display to something count okay and under that I need to have two buttons how you make buttons button tag button tag okay button tag increment okay that's perfect so you can also add some variant okay variant by default is primary variant so you can also add something else primary is the default and if you want to have another one let's say warning okay 
so primary and warning if you want to have this success you can make success and warning and you want to have some space around it you can uh, say class name m r not there uh, m m1 is there okay copy this okay nice you got some space around it that's perfect yep so this is how you actually make a design for a react bootstrap library okay so up to here is fine and now let's make it something dynamic because i want to make this functionality to work that that you know basic react this functionality so for that i'll take something i have to increment the counter right some count value and increment it and decrement it so what something i do is so i say let's an array is equal to u stage in this i'll say count with zero okay so what i do is state and set state okay and what i do is let increment is equal to a function in this uh, set state where i want to increment a state uh, count value will be a state dot count plus one okay now i copy this you can say decrement and this is say that count minus one okay i have two things increment and decrement and let's also connect with a state first of all this count i replace with expression uh, state dot count you get it is zero and when you click on the button so let's say on click is equal to uh, increment and also here on click is equal to decrement okay so incrementing and also decrementing okay so that's it so we made now a counter example using react bootstrap and now let's see and one more example let's call a form okay so how you make a nice registration form with uh, the same react bootstrap okay let's see that now all right so now we got, uh, I mean, we got to start with a form. So what I do is I will uh, go to components. I create a fresh component that's called registration component dot JSX. So let's make import react from react. I say let register is equal to a function. So return something this is register export default register okay fine now let's configure that here instead of uh, counter i come in the counter and just say register okay so you will get register okay so now what is my plan is i have to make again uh, card kind of structure in that we need to have a form okay so how to make card kind of structure let's start with container okay and this container gets imports from a react bootstrap okay in that i need to have one row in that one column and this column width i say excess something called um, three column layout in that one card i say in that card dot header let's say something called register oh okay uh, fine i need to have some space margin top three okay i got register and i'll say card header do we have anything called variant no then what do you do let's set a class something called padding three i guess some space applies yes that's fine and uh, if you wish this one let's say h4 register you get some slight bigger okay and if you want to have uh, some background color of course you can add using style tag or uh, yeah style attributes background color something called uh, light cyan okay or else something called uh, orange red something like that 
and um, uh, it's not looks good let's say orange okay that's fine as uh, your uh, card header and then let's say card uh, dot body so in the card body I got a nice card body and you can also have to add a shadow okay now looks good so under the card body up to here we know right yeah under the card body I need to have a form so how you make a form go refer documentation um, form yeah forms here okay forms will be okay form will be like this yeah you have a form and the form dot group and form dot label form dot control form dot text okay okay got it so you just need to add a form tag capital form tag in that form group you right now form dot group like this in the form group you need to have what form control okay simply what you write is form dot control okay and you say type so type is text and the placeholder username okay that's my form control now check you will get a you will get a uh, a field okay and uh, if you wish to have some margin bottom for example if i if i if i copy this paste again so what happened it is like stick to it okay if you want to have some space below under this so you can even class margin bottom margin bottom come on three yes perfect now okay so two are having a space in the bottom i mean margin okay and for this one also i need to have margin bottom three but this supposed to be a password so type is password and the placeholder also password so name password and if you wish to have something called email so email placeholder email so username email and password that's perfect and under that you need to have a registration button so i'll paste it but this supposed to be a button so i'll say button with the not class as a variant what variant you wish to warning yes and let's say register okay registration button and anything else like if i click on the button yeah you must specify type submit otherwise it will become just button if you wish to if you add type submit then only it will act as a submit button okay otherwise it acts as a general button even though you add inside a form tag okay make sure you write type submit to to submit the form data okay it acts like a submit button okay that's fine but only one problem is this color and this color is not matching i'll do one thing i'll just go with a color picker pick up some this color yeah i got it get the color code go here and paste the color code so that both are same that's perfect okay and if you wish to have this you know um, this body you, you you need to have some color you can choose a color code something like very light I copy this so where do I add for the card body so I say style is equal to background color yes perfect so header body and the button that's perfectly designed now let's start with a functionality so how you make a functionality is um, here I say let something is equal to uh, use state this is you know right I have a user object where I have username and I have email and I have password okay now I say this is state and 
set state okay but how you make a two way binding let's say update input is a function and this will take an arrow function and here i'll say set state where dot 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 state where the user object i have to update will be dot 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 state dot user and where in dynamic data so you get the events so e dot target dot name it's uh, e dot target dot value okay because all are input fields so value so let's make it now back to form control what you do name is username on change update input that's all right um yeah name and on change okay but i have to see is that really updating mm, okay let's write a pre tag expression this and dot stringify of the state okay updating that's completely perfect okay so i don't need this let's make it for all so simply copy this go to the another form control this will become email not caps and uh, for password let's make this is password and that's fine okay but what about the submit button um i say on click is equal to register is my function okay so i create registration function let register is equal to a function okay in this you get the event so make sure you say event dot prevent default and let's say simple i mean very simple console dot log state dot user okay so this sends data to server okay that's fine now let's check i refresh let me also inspect console window keep it aside and this is also okay i think i need to make not access let's say md okay yeah now it's perfect okay so if i say uh navin at gmail.com <laughs> it's a name right okay so navin at gmail.com some password blah 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 and register yes i can see my name email and the password wow that is perfect okay so this is how we made um the react bootstrap design that's made perfect okay so what else we do we can also discuss about a table okay so how can you make tables using this structure okay i mean i mean react bootstrap so let's make a table concept now okay so now let's start with the table so when you see the official uh, documentation of components uh, you can find the table here oh table is quite simple you need to make a table tag stripe with a border and hover and remaining is just usual like uh, regular table tag okay and it is looks like this okay so if you want to start with this kind of table we need to have a data so why can't we get this data also from the server okay so what my plan is i close all first of all i create one component something called um, javascript user list dot jsx okay so i say import react from react okay so let's user list is equal to a function so it returns something jsx okay it's a user list and also i say export default user list okay so this user list i need to connect to app now so i just comment out the registration i need to add user list so user list import from the components and adds here okay 
now I got userless okay so plan goes to be I go to Google something called JSON placeholder website this regular fake rest API URLs so I can find the users yeah so for this URL I have this amount of data and this particular data I want to I want to display in a table so for that I need to have two things I need to install Axios and also services and then call service and display table data that's a story okay install axios create services and all okay call service from component and display let's start with install so I will stop the server so npm install axios so this will install axios okay that's fine done now we need to create a service so I create a SRC new folder called services in this I create one JavaScript that is uh, user service export class user service so we need to have a server URL this is here is server URL so static server URL uh, is equal to this one and I say static get all users if I say static I don't need to create an object I can directly call by using the class name that's why mostly I use static okay but some people ask me why are you using static what static means in object oriented programming it says you know without using you don't need to create an object for the class you can directly using the uh, class name you can call a function okay that's the plan so I import axios and I say this is the server you are right you are written simply axios dot get uh, server URL that's all simple okay so I need to call this function from where yeah I finish this I create service also now call service from the component where is my component is here okay so I say first of all I create a state now use state we have local data you can happily display table but I just wanted to make it to from get from server so that's the plan so state and such state okay so here call it how to call use effects use effects here um, you can say synchronous or simply you say user service not user let's use a service that imports from services slash user service dot get all users so it returns a promise so I'll say dot then dot catch okay so here dot then you receive the actual result and this is the error okay here you get the response and I say this dot set not this I think it's a functional component set state directly dot 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 state and users will be response dot data directly okay and if you get some error you know you can store in state or this is simply console dot log of error okay fine because I am made a bit quickly because I hope you already have a react just yes, basic knowledge okay yeah so I got data users let me confirm I read some pre tag um, expression json dot stringify of um, state dot users so oh I have stopped the server man okay npm start 
because while installing Axios right now, I have stopped it. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Back here. Okay, fine. I got data. So this data, you have to display in a table like this. Quite simple, but let's see. Um, can we write like this? Can I have nice container in that one row, in that one column? Okay, that way we'll write. This all imports from where? My React Bootstrap. Okay. Yeah, column. I say now H3 um, user list. Okay. Let's give the class margin top 3. Okay. And you can give the class name text primary. Okay. So there's a p tag, the class font style italic just say lorem 30 tab just for time being some some kind of text yeah now we have to make a table how do you make a table so can i say another row another column no table so this table actually comes from again the react bootstrap okay so i got nothing okay so this table I need to have the same striped, bordered, hover, all of this, and in that regular like table row, th star six tab, you have serial number, you have something like name, you have email, you have what else? Mm, name, email. Okay. Uh, website company location website company location okay this is how it will be okay if you want to have table with some shadow you can give the class called shadow okay now and I say text center okay perfect okay so um it's supposed to be you know t head okay t head it is and now in the t body i say table row loop it so what i do is simply i just segregate my data to state dot users dot map where is user so I just say here state dot users dot length is greater than zero. Okay, it's written something. Okay, that something is table row. And here you specify the key. I think it's user dot id. I guess it is having an id. Yep. So name, email, is a direct value, right? So first id td user.id I quickly write this id name email website but company is like company dot name because company is an object you can check the document and location I guess location will be address object dot city address the city so I guess that's fine now check wow you got table okay so this is perfect you got a table <coughs> okay fine now that's all my dear guys uh, so we have successfully configured react bootstrap and uh, so please do practice on uh, the components and this is also one of the most popular uh, react.js library for i mean the ui library for react.js based application it's specifically used only for react okay not for angular not for Vue, anything else okay only for react
okay so that's it hope you enjoy guys thank you so much and let's meet in the next video thank you